Morning, everyone. Welcome into Love My 419. Happy Sunday from the Harold Jackson Gilder Studios. Andrew Z, Sandy Eisenberg, Steve Remy. I know Steve still. Uh, he, you have the afterglow. You have the Ohio State afterglow. Yes. You got the colors in your in your in your cup. <laughs> it was a glorious victory. I Did mean, you go down there? No, we rented out a little downtown establishment. Which which beer joint? Uh, Home slice pizza. Oh, yeah, okay. We rented that out. We've, it's been a tradition, and I mean nobody expected that. That's just the well, thing. Well, that's the thing. I don't I haven't followed sports for uh, several years now. I mean, now, I love watching football. I like I like professional football better, but I like watching Michigan. But and I like if you look on Ohio Facebook, State it's playing. like it's like why did they even play the game? Michigan's going to win. Well, it's I wanted, even, no. and then <laughs> to well, I wanted to know who the team was that went to Columbus that had been playing in Ann Arbor because it didn't look like the same guys <laughs> no, to me. Number one defense in the country. Ha. <laughs> you never would have known. What do you that. think? So, Irvin Meyer, there's, there's talk about him. Maybe this being his last year. I don't year. know. I know that he's a sick guy. Well, I mean, you know, he's having that problem with the cyst, and the, what I'm hearing from Buckeye Nation, you know, he's still a little bit salty about, you know, what happened at the beginning of the season, him getting suspended, and then mm -hmm. you had, you know, the number one defensive player in the country. He left. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we beat Northwestern yesterday. <laughs> So, so I know. That's <laughs> <laughs> there was still talking about. It was. It was still talking about Michigan. But anyway, yeah. the Michigan game from last week. All right. That. Anyway, we got a lot to do on today's show. It's all hot topics. You know, we're coming off two weeks. You guys had like a best of show, a clip, uh, best of clips last week. So we have a lot to talk about. We're going to talk about uh, all kinds of things. You never know what's going to come up in this show. You don't. You don't know. Maybe, maybe even Sandy's black eye. Who knows? I don't know what we're going to talk about. Who knows? We'll, see, we'll find out coming up. We'll all find out together coming up next, right here on Love My 419. <laughs> what a group. Love My 419 is brought to you by Harold Jaffe Jewelers. Without them, there is no Love My 419. And without Love My 419, how would you know about all the wonderful people, places, businesses, and things that make up the 419? So stop in to Harold Jaffe Jewelers anytime, Monday through Saturday, and let them know how much you appreciate them for bringing you the quality television like Love My 419. They're awesome. You're awesome. Thank you for watching Love My 419. Like More Love My 419 coming up in a minute, but first, Jeff Jaffe's here from Harold Jaffe Jewelers. You brought gifts in. I did. You know, you, know, you talked about it a couple weeks ago, Jeff, about how it's not just diamonds and, and the traditional stuff. No, you have some unique really pieces, and this is a unique. great, great wow. showcase of that. As much as I love diamonds, and I really do. <laughs> not and as I, much and as I, think, I do. I think everybody loves diamonds. Yes. Almost everybody loves diamonds. But to me, <laughs> some of the cool stuff is the, the funkier, the artsy, yes. the more unusual. I agree. This is a line that we found recently that is actually, believe it or not, all handmade in the United States of America. Wow. Um, it's made of 22 karat gold leaf. Um, and they do all kinds of one-of-a-kind art, artsy pieces. Wow. There's cuff bracelets, there's earrings. And a, at our request, they actually did uh, a series of Toledo and Environs maps. Um, and so one of, the, one of the things I'm thinking is that you can give this to your, your child who's yeah. moved away or you know somebody and say you know, don't yeah. don't forget where you came from. That's yeah. so or, or, what's or, the matter with our politicians huh? that go to Washington? Well, they should. Yeah. Some they don't remember where they came from. It's yeah, that's true. For sure. Some of them should stay, stay there. there. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and there isn't anyone that I think deserves that more than Sandy to have one of those around her neck. There's been no or no, pro no bigger, bigger to proponent Toledo, of Toledo Toledo uh, support. Absolutely, absolutely. That, is so yeah. cool. that looks, that really looks like lovely. you. Yeah, that's beautiful. What a great idea. Yeah, so it's fun. We've got them. They're not terrible. Probably expensive. Um, the, the whole line, you know, a couple hundred dollars. You it's know. perfect. And we talked about nice. we've, we've, we've turned into such a throwaway society. Jewelry, jewelry is still one of those things that, that lasts you forever that you can, can pass, pass down. down. Hey, this was my mom's my ring. This is my mom's right. printed. This is my grandma's. I mean, that's a, you, really you don't have it anymore. I'm working on a job right now. It's a it's a pocket watch, mm -hmm. which oh. is very very interesting. It happens to be a, an unusual, very fine pocket oh, wow. watch, but great grandfather to grandfather to yeah. father to son An and this is one of those things and and you know most young younger kids these days 
could care less could about this stuff. But, this, right. but a lot of them are catching on um, to the emotion oh, yeah. and the history mm -hmm. and all those things. And really, honestly, when it comes down to it, that's what we do. It's all about emotion and it's all about family history. Uh, and memories. Right. Yeah. And Jeff memories. Jaffe, make your memory with some jewelry this holiday season over at Harold Jaffe Jewelers. The mm -hmm. best in town. Thank you. Love My 419, brought to you in part by Amy's Cleaning Service, the Wonder Woman of Cleaning. Feature your business now on Love My 419. Now back to Love My 419 on NBC24. Welcome back to Love My 419 for the Harold Jaffe Jeweler Studios. Andrew Z, Sandy Eisenberg, Steve Remy. All right, uh, so Sandy, we're going to talk about the elephant in the room. Not me. Uh, what's going on with your eye? What happened with your eye? You have a black eye. Well, I... Uh... Where's the Sandy eye cam? Yes. <laughs> what was her name? I know she went down. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I know she did. But you, you, uh, you, I mean, you, you and so you and Blanche and, and Ruth were yeah, sitting around. No, it was the real Black Friday. Yeah, no, it was <laughs> Black Wednesday. You were kibitzing with your yentas. No, I was. I <laughs> was kibitzing with nobody. And you're like, who's hotter, William Shatner? <laughs> or, uh, or Rodney Dangerfield, Ooh, you guys got into a fist them. match. No, <laughs> I, you took the, I took the turkey and I was going to put it outside to keep cold overnight. Uh -huh. And my one, I walked on this little ramp that I have, and one leg went one way and one leg went that way. And I, you know, you tighten up. It's like yeah. having oh, yeah. an auto accident. You tighten up, and I turned like that, and I hit oh, my face. God. And then I was bleeding. Were you home alone? Yes. And I was bleeding, and oh, I got up, and I found a towel in the kitchen, which I had to throw out, and they were such a nice towel, brand new. <laughs> and then I called my boys at 911, and the Did EMS you? guys come, oh, my and my God. son came over. And as, of course, when the EMS guys come, they said, okay, Sandy, what's the matter now? <laughs> were you calling them often? Oh, Steve, Steve calls wonderful. him, there's never anything wrong. He's I, always in a I bathroom. Do. You just call him to look <laughs> at him. Are you doing anything? Aren't they cute? Oh, wow. Uh, they were so, wonderful. Lovely, oh, lovely guys. And how are you feeling, I go, though? Well, I had a crappy headache, I can tell you, all yeah. Wednesday night. Took a couple of Advils. Took my drugs of choice that I have to take. My blood pressure was the biggest problem. 225 over 190. Ooh. Ooh. They said, are you okay? Yeah. Wow. I said, it's like that. I mean, it scared the heck out of me. Oh, I'm sure. Well, I'm wow. Sure. So I'm glad you're better. My it's eye. funny because my mom, same same thing. My mom, um, uh, is, is your mic on, Steve? I mean, yes. sure that we want the people to hear you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes, it is on. Okay, good. Well, my mom, um, she fell over the over the holiday as well. Oh, she okay? Oh, Slipped on the steps. She was walking outside on, on the porch, and it was slippery. And I oh, oh. hurt her back for a couple days, for a few days. So it, I mean, I don't well, even know. Well, I went to the I went to Toledo Hospital. They were terrific. Doctor Williams and their crew and Melanie and. Yeah. As you, as you get, I guess as you get older, you really have to watch out well, for it. Because I it could be a million more complications. Right, right, but I've noticed lately that my balance is a little, I seem to twitch to the right. Well, that's because you're having two glasses of Moscato. <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, I don't like Moscato. If I'm having vine, a, little, a little Sauvignon <laughs> Blanc, well, oh, choice, yeah. Yeah. or a little Raspberry Stoli. Well, then, there you go, her drug of choice. <laughs> <laughs> so they took a CT scan, which now takes two minutes. I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. In and out. And they said, you know, you're fine. Well, hold on, I'm going to do the same. Let me see, let me see. I asked Hi, about that. <laughs> I can see right through there. Sandy, there's nothing I in there. About that. I said, I saw Steve right look, through the middle. I said, is everything okay in there? She said, and then I said, oh, yeah, you're fine. Oh, oh, we're good. We're glad you're okay. Yeah, well, so am I. It's a lot of makeup on, folks. You'd be surprised. Oh, man. You, you, can, can, I want to tell you something. And I, and I don't know how this comes off okay, but um, so, so Colleen. Right. Was was picking something up, hit her hit her eye on uh, the cover, a uh, butcher block, her. butcher block, our butcher okay. block, Ooh. and and <laughs> so what do you do? You can't deny, it. like you can't say she hit on a butcher block. It was like yeah, she like yeah. there's no way to even say anything. Right. She got this yeah. big shiner, and, yeah. and she's like, no, it's really the butcher block. It was like, are you okay? Are you okay? Do you need You're a married? <laughs> are, you, are you all right? Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> you can't, and then you no, no, where's the book? Right. Like they're like, uh huh, sure it is. Yeah. So I ran into a friend of mine yesterday and she says, Oh my god, what happened to your eye? I said, Oh, you should see the other guy. <laughs> <laughs>
my, or, my, my garage floor. Or we're glad, you, glad you're here. You're here with us today, Sandy. Feeling too. better. All right, we have yeah. more hot topics coming up in just a couple of minutes from Love My 419. We'll be right back. Love My 419, brought to you in part by Amy's Cleaning Service, the Wonder Woman of Cleaning. Feature your business now on Love My 419. Now back to Love My 419 on NBC 24. Chocolate. It'll kill me too. Welcome back to Love My 419 from the Herald Jaffe Jewelry Studios. Chocolate. Andrew Z, Sandy Eisenberg, Steve Remy. Could you imagine being our, our, our producer, our assistant producer? What do you, what's his title? Patrick. Patrick. Uh, he's, he's allergic he's to, a, yes. to chocolate. That would, I would just, just I would wrong. die. I would I'd rather be dead. I'd rather be dead than too. live in a world that I could take chocolate. my life. Yes, I, I know. I love dark chocolate. My 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 ex my ex sister. <laughs> you caramel, shut up over there. <laughs> <laughs> my my ex sister in law. Uh, she's been allergic to chocolate her whole life, and really? I just relies on white chocolate, I guess. But uh, dogs yeah. are a lot allergic to chocolate. Yeah, dogs right. are. Dogs are. Um, okay, so you. anyway, this is speaking. We we're talking about chocolate because of our good friend Rachel Michael, right? Yes. No, I I'm telling you, her Christmas pop is amazing. Just imagine chocolate and peppermint. Mm, Great it. gift for the holidays. Yes. And she wants to remind you that you need to get your orders, orders in. in. That's yeah, for right. the holidays. For the holidays. Slammed. Get yeah. them in. So. Right. Very cool. And it makes a yeah. great Christmas it gift. Really hey, um, so let's talk about GM laying off thousands of workers, closing up to five plants. Um, GM stocks now have taken a tumble since Trump came out and basically threatened them. Is everyone okay with the President of the United States, the leader of the free world, threatening companies like Harley Davidson and GM? He's and a moron. Who cares what he says? <laughs> uh, but I mean, there is that. What does he think he can do? I mean, what's he going to do? He's going to take back all the incentives that they gave right. to the which, which, uh, which G- automakers. Yeah, GM came out because I guess the incentives were a lot of them were on electric cars. One hundred fifty million dollars or something. But but they were on electric cars, and and right. they said we're stopping building those anyway. So to, to take well, all. Well, and then I thought want. when I heard that announcement, I'm thinking, hmm, odd. Now, and GM just announced like several months ago they're moving from Manhattan to Detroit. I wonder if they're going to follow through with that now. Well, he, here's what I don't got understand. those buildings there that are fabulous. Here's what I don't understand. And it, it, I've lived here since 05. And obviously GM. Our and joy. The car, <laughs> yes, you're, right. the, the joy of the city since 2005. <laughs> um, but obviously the car companies are, are very important to this community. Of course they and, are. And it's, 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 it seems to me that every two years or so, there's a disaster. It's either records and they're hiring people and then two years later we're not selling cars so we're firing people it's like it's a huge ebb and flow and you would think that after a hundred and something years they would get it right to where they don't have to have these drastic major announcements and major right. cuts and major hirings back and forth is anyone is anyone else seen that how it's well, I ups mean, and downs it, uh, no one else is huge. having that problem and it's like right. okay the reason they're saying is because their cars aren't selling more people are going toward the SUVs. And I'm mm-hmm. like, I could care less about an SUV, but yeah. I'm like, look at what your competition is doing. What are they doing that you're not doing? Hello? I, I think one of the problems with the, with the, the automakers in general, especially the, the big three, is they're, all the cars look the same. They in the do old days, look the same. In the same. old days, that's you could ride true. down, and that's a Cadillac, and that's a this, and that's, they all, why, why not, why, how come they don't have these beautiful uh, cars from the, from the auto show actually make it out to where people can buy them? That's people right. would line up for those kind of cars, but I don't understand why they make them all look well, generic. They're all I, generic. I, I, generic I colors. To, I, I went to my dry cleaners about, a, oh, two weeks ago, mm-hmm. picking up a bunch of stuff, you know, from the mm-hmm. summer, and there's a car parked next to my other car, right. my old car. And I thought, oh my God, what a gorgeous car. That must be a Lexus. Uh-huh. It was a Kia. Right. Uh-huh. Swear to God, it was a Kia. It looked just like a Lexus. Oh, but but on, on a good note though, did you see that um, that the um, the Jeep uh, the yes, Jeep, truck. The Jeep truck got yes. it got announced this week. Yeah, right. beautiful. That's gonna that's gonna. That's gonna and and the, did the Jeep Wrangler just get an award? Did I see that they gave it one to the yeah. former the late former president yeah. Chrysler? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, the so French guy, right? Frenchy. French. Frenchy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I mean that truck is that's a game changer. That's, yeah, that's, that's nice. a huge game. Yeah, that is nice because now you're going into. 
compete against like Dodge, some mm -hmm. of those other ones, sure. Chevrolet, Ford. You know, Ford, some of those. So, yeah. but you're giving that Jeep quality. So, right, exactly. You're moving into some new territory, right. and that's, that's going to be big for our area. So, you know, you win right. some, you lose some GM down, that's but right. hopefully, this is going to be a big shot in the arm for. Well, the UAW is very upset about the closing of the. Oh, I'm sure. I'm, oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. So uh -huh. they're gonna give them what for? <laughs> a little what for? All right. A little what for? More more hot topics coming up. It's a it's a whole show of hot topics today. Love my four one nine. We'll be right back. Love my four one nine. Brought to you in part by Powell's Beauty Supply, servicing Toledo for over thirty years. Also brought to you by the Butler. Master Barber, changing lives one haircut at a time. Find him inside the Operations Barber Shop, 1824 North Reynolds Road. Coming up, more Love My 419. Villa like Albert in the ring, Prince Bell, he a king like Sonny with them things. South Paul's don't stand a chance in the ring. My flow and all the docks, Jiu Jitsu, hell no, I don't know. I just own the network, graduated straight from Rome. Summa cool Lottie, they just wanna know my network. I'm just trying to network. You just trying to bitch about the money you ain't never earned. Chances you ain't never taken. These were the thoughts when I was living in my mama's face. Welcome back to Love My 419 from the Harold Jaffe Jeweler Studios. Hot top. We've been gone a couple weeks. We're getting you caught up with stuff that we kind of miss. Andrew Z, Sandy Eisenberg, Steve. I Reedy. really miss Steve and Andrew. Oh. I don't know about Andre, but I did miss Andrew. <laughs> wow. Our executive producer. All right, um, Steve. What about what are we get? Well, you, by this you know, second. we're getting toward the end of the year, and this is the best time to buy a car. Mm -hmm. And we strongly suggest that you go out and see our friend Al oh, out at Nationwide, Nationwide Auto. Now, yes. incentive would be if you go out there, he would be giving away the nine ladies leaving. Really? Yes. Wow. What if they're, what if yes. they're a lady and you're not interested in then nine you get ladies the, leaping? The, the, the eight nine lords are leaping. Lords are leaping. All right. That's better. <laughs> there you go. Something <laughs> for you. everybody. Yeah, but absolutely. You only get to see that if you ask for Al. And if you get a new car from yeah. Al, you got to say, when you go there, love my 419. Absolutely. Absolutely. Or he'll send you out to the North 40 Pasture, which is about <laughs> five miles away from the main office. There you go. It's um, huge. I know yeah. it is. It, yeah, it's, it it's, is yeah, huge. Thousands acres of and acres yeah. of cars. All right, so um, I want to talk about this sad story that you know, we were off the last oh. couple of weeks. So mm -hmm. um, this, this little three year old boy named Malachi oh. uh, was, was uh, killed on I 75 in a shooting. And uh, I mean, I just it, does, it doesn't that get any more tragic than that. that. It is absolutely. That's why these crazy kids, these crazy people with these guns, it's disgusting. Well, this, well, yeah. What's the big deal about making a law saying no, 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 no guns. what? No, no, guns. no guns. No guns at all. Was this like what about the Second Amendment? You know how I'm... many people out there were like, Sandy, shut up. <laughs> well, they've said that before. <laughs> was this on 75 in Collingwood, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was near there. Because yeah. when they showed the TV uh, spot on it, mm -hmm. it looked like uh, going by Miami Street. Mm. But what a loss for the family. Oof. I, mean, I oh, just can't even poor baby. imagine that. I mean, have they gotten closer to getting the person? I don't know. The cops say that they, I, I think that the cops had said that they thought that it was not a random shooting. Oh, but but they weren't targeting the little boy, though. No. Yeah, no. Oh, but, yeah. Um, and then they're saying that there is a reward, I know, out there, okay, I think, last, last I heard. Right. So anyway, our thoughts and prayers, obviously, for sure. no, I, the I, family I, over the know, holidays. You, if you want a gun to protect your family, I think right. that's great. You want a gun, then you want to go out hunting Bambi, hey, do your own thing. Right. But these kids that just randomly pick up guns and got to well, make their bones by shooting somebody so well, they can put a tear here, that, <laughs> no, not. That it, it doesn't bother people anymore. It's like, oh, well, what the heck. You're watching, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to take a break. We'll come back with more Hot Topics. Oh, coming up next, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, that you're one of your favorite Christmas specials getting ready to come up. There's people that are saying that that, that, that show is bad for you. We'll talk why about why it on why the way. Is it we'll talk about on the way. Hang on, Sandy. Stay around. Love My 419 <laughs> continues next. Fire Cushion. Your promise. Your commitment. So magnificent, it will ignite her passion. Fire Cushion. 
exclusively at Harold Jaffe. Hey, hey, it's the Jewish Reindeer. Welcome back to Love My 419 <laughs> from the Harold Jaffe Jewelry Studios. Andrew Z, Sandy Eisenberg, Steve Ramey. So I, I was reading online. I was reading online. The, the, the people nowadays, what, uh, millennial, what are they called now? Millennium. Like the, the youngers, Millennium. the youngers. Well, yeah. they are now looking at uh, the old Rudolph special. What's your favorite Christmas special? Mine? Oh, mine, I never liked the Christmas specials I like. It's what? a wonderful life. All right. Well, I was thinking more of the cartoons. But. Yeah, and Young at Heart with Frank Sinatra and Doris Day. All right. I'm gonna go. Okay. So anyway, the, the reason I bring it up is because I was looking at my phone, and, and now they're saying that this old Rudolph special from 1964 yeah. is, is a bad example. Weird. All right, so here's yeah. some, some, text, some, um, some tweets now after watching this Rudolph special. Teaching kids since 1964 that your peers will only accept your differences if you can provide them with some kind of service. Oh my! God. <laughs> and another one that talks These about people just stay up all night long smoking pot, drinking, <laughs> drinking red wine, and thinking up this stuff. Here's another one. It says, "Watching Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer." The moral of the story I've learned since watching is, is, is a kid, people are jerks until they need something <laughs> from you. And then now this, I agree with that. And one. this one, this is a good one. I had to stop watching when I found out that Santa was doing his part of the in the bullying process, which he is. If you if you watch this special, and I'm thinking, I've thought about that for years. I'm like, Santa is so mean. Why do they make him so mean in this special? He is kind they, of he, mean. they say, Rudolph, get out of here. You don't look like one of us. And like, Santa gets well. Rid of him. I think that, but I think it it could be a teaching vehicle for kids to understand that we're all alike, no matter what our skin color is, whatever we believe in. Looks like over there. What Steve's got it. Take a break. Come back with more. Love my 419. Sandy snorted in the second hang on. Love my 419 is brought to you by Harold Jaffe Jewelers. Fire cushion. Your promise. Your commitment. So magnificent, it will ignite her passion. Fire cushion. Exclusively at Harold Jaffe. Welcome back, Andrew Z, Sandy Eisenberg, and uh, Steve Remy from the Harold Jaffe Jewelers Studios. As we, uh, you're sitting at home right now, drinking your coffee, mm -hmm. eating your schnitzel, yeah, getting no, ready to plan strudel. the day. Strudel. <laughs> your strudel. Schnitzel is dinner schnitzel. or lunch. Oh. Strudel is oh, dessert. <laughs> as you're eating, as you're eating your strudel. Yeah. I make getting, home. I make some apple strudel. Getting set to plan the day. I know it's Sunday, but I'll tell you what. No matter when you go out now, seven days a week, there's traffic. Four oh. seventy-five. 75 downtown. Oh. Secor. I mean, Talmadge. Oh, it's Ridiculous. unbelievable. It's, yeah, it's it is, here's the thing. I, I applplaud ODOT for what they're trying to do. It's like, hey, we want to we want to do all this construction. We want to make this place a how better about place. How doing it all at the same time? Thank you. <laughs> how, how about you all get together, pick once, take a mile. I'm going to give you a whole mile. Well, pick that take, mile, take then move to the next mile. Take an area. Yeah, they're all over town. It's a Everywhere. Bear one, hit it hard. That's why they call it Orange reasons. Barrel Madness for that. What? Yeah, and what it's, is it? Well, there's oh, several leader. reasons for that. Because what is it? when because there's so they bid you have to do the design. Right. You, you have to bid do the for bid. the design. design. You bid. The design that has to be approved. Sometimes during the course of the design and actually winning the bid, money's either there or it's not there. And so it's now it pushes money, the schedule back and forth so well, it's we all have to we all, they figure this out you know it's part of the whole thing you did for years exactly you were an engineer it's yeah. part, it's part but it's this is part of the whole thing about how we do things the old way still and, and even though we've moved on for everything else we still do stupid right. stuff well, and, and, and and start 20 projects instead of putting 100 guys on one project knocking it out in half the time right. then moving to the next project here's another problem roundabouts oh, roundabouts i don't love i them. don't understand it i Wait, love them Here's what I don't understand. But here's what I don't understand, Steve. I love them. Is first of all, they make it, uh, my right turns. I never thought, man, I'm taking a slow. This right turn is so slow. Yeah. How can we speed this thing up? I don't, who cares? I was fine the way I did it before. Yeah. And it's not getting voted on. We're just using money and changing stuff. Who's, well, who, the who's state, the, the who's state the gives money, the feds give money, and but it's whose done decision in block is numbers. Need, who's the decision to say that it's we need block roundabouts? block date, so you have to use the money by a certain date. And if you don't use the money by a certain date in a certain area of the state, I'm just talking about Ohio, well, and what, it goes somewhere else in the state. And what plays into that? So what happens is a lot of times you do what's called a traffic study. They look at the accidents that are involved in there, what type of accidents, what are the makeup of accidents. Is it a truck? Is it more truck? Is it more bus? Is it more pedestrian? So they look at that ways to alleviate that 
and roundabouts have shown that does the job. Ah. I don't, you have to be aggressive. We're not a, we're a not roundabout. a roundabout society. I don't know why who decided we are, but we should have been able to vote. We should have had a say. You're there should have been a, a commission. There should, yeah, I know you're exactly. They just came and us. said, "Hear ye, hear ye, you're going to have roundabouts." No, screw your hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> put it. I'll put it up in your roundabout. I'm going to take the second exit right there. Ooh, hey. On the next. Sorry, Steve, not you, not you, Steve. That wasn't an invitation. On the next Love My 419. <laughs> we'll be right back. Fire Cushion. Your promise. Your commitment. So magnificent, it will ignite her passion. Fire Cushion. Exclusively at Harold Jaffe. Twist to it. Twist to it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But it's damn good. Come to the center. What is this segment like? Who gives Rudolph. 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 I can't wait to hear this. Irving Rudolph. <laughs> the red nose. That's who you. You're so old. That's your first Rudolph that comes to mind. Irving Rudolph. <laughs> the Jewish reindeer. <laughs> All right, time to wrap up Love My 419 for another week. And, you know, uh, we'll, we'll get final thoughts here in a second. But Andre Savage, our, our, our executive producer, mm -hmm. had us have this, this big tease a couple weeks ago oh. about a big the big thing happening happening to the show. Now we're not hearing it. Uh, are we putting this off more time? How, how long do you on. tease this for, you tease? Way to wave the carrot. Hey. Yeah, I know. Hey, hey, watch it, buddy. <laughs> stop, <laughs> waving, stop waving carrots. Hey. carrots to yourself. <laughs> on the next. So stay tuned as, as we... As we wind down the, the season. Four shows left. Four shows left in the season, and um, and of course the the over the holidays, uh, big announcement coming very soon. He won't he won't even tell us what it is, but it's right. coming soon, right? Right. Final thought, Steve. Final thought. Well, you know we've seen the reports coming in on the news how everybody is shopping online for the holidays. So we have a lot of great local businesses yes. here. Right. So you know. I know people Let's want what they do. want, but try to take a little time to put something local on the Christmas yes. list. Yes, amen. So you know, I, I, I met with a guy at the tennis club, um, the Perrysburg Tennis mm -hmm. Club. He's talking about Marsha's Buckeyes. About he, how he really oh, helped. They're, 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 they're amazing. So good. I mean, just so many options he, around here. And instead of getting the box candy from somewhere else, get some amazing Marsha's Buckeyes. Right. And, and there's you know, there's a little store thing in Levis Commons that has uh, yeah. all the local stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Sandy. Good. Well, I just sort of agree with, uh, what's your name? Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve-o, I just, uh, yeah, because, I, I, you know, it has a lot to do with dress shops or clothing stores yeah. or, exactly. food. or, home, or uh, homegrown food Gifts. stores and yeah. homegrown grocery stores. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, let's try and... Take the season to be yeah. local. Shop I agree. local. I agree Shop with all local. that. I mean, I'll leave it right there. We Shop local this this year, you guys. All right. For Sandy Eisenberg, Steve Remy, I'm Andrew Z. That's it. You guys have a great rest of your Sunday. We'll see you next week. Wait. And uh, the Today Show coming up next. And love my 419 right here on NBC24. Stay well. Drive carefully. Crazy traffic.